Did you know that hot dogs were one of the first foods eaten on the moon? Astronauts Neil Armstrong and Edwin Aldrin enjoyed hot dogs along with bacon squares and peaches during their historic lunar landing in 1969. Hot dogs are very popular in the U.S. Americans eat about 20 billion hot dogs per year, which is about 70 per person. They consume more hot dogs on July 4th than any other day, with an estimated 150 million hot dogs eaten on Independence Day alone. But have you ever wondered how hot dogs are actually made? What kinds of meats are in them? And how do they take their shapes? Well, buckle up, because I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the process and the ingredients of America's favorite snack. And then we will talk about the health effects of hot dogs and the ingredients in it. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, let's start with the meat. What kind of meat goes into a hot dog? Well, according to the National Hot Dog and Sausage Council, yes, that's a real thing. Hot dogs are made from specially selected meat trimmings of beef or pork, just like the meat you buy in your grocer's case. Sounds good, right? Well, not so fast. These meat trimmings are usually of lower grade, meaning they are the leftovers from cutting steaks, roasts, tenderloins, or similar cuts of meat. They might include fat, connective tissue, cartilage, or even organs like hearts or livers. Yummy! But don't worry, these meat trimmings are not just thrown into a grinder and stuffed into a casing. No, they are first cut or ground into small pieces and placed in a mixer with some water or ice chips to keep them cool. This prevents bacteria growth and helps the mixing process. Then they are blended with curing ingredients, spices, flavorings, and other additives to make them taste better and last longer. Some of these additives might include corn syrup for sweetness, salt for preservation, paprika for color, garlic powder also for aroma, yeast extract for omami, and finally sodium nitrite for preventing botulism, which is bacterial infection. Sounds like a lot of chemicals, right? Well, they are, and they might have some negative effects on your health. For example, did you know that sodium nitrite can react with other compounds in your stomach and form nitrosamines, which are carcinogenic substances that can increase your risk of cancer? The corn syrup also can spike your blood sugar levels and contribute to obesity and diabetes. Also, the salt and sodium can significantly raise your blood pressure and cause heart problems. Other than that, the yeast extract can trigger allergic reactions or headaches in some people. These are just some of the potential dangers of consuming too much processed meat like hot dogs, but let's not get too gloomy here. Let's move on to the next step. Shaping the hot dogs. How do they get their uniform size and shape? Well, after the meat mixture is blended into a fine emulsion or batter using high-speed stainless steel choppers, this makes the texture smoother and more uniform. The emulsion is continuously checked for temperature, pH level, fat content, and protein content to ensure quality and safety. After that, the emulsion is pumped into an automatic stuffer or linker machine that fills casings with the meat paste. The casings are either natural or artificial. Natural casings are made from cleaned and processed animal intestines, usually sheep or pig, which give the hot dogs a more traditional look and feel. Artificial casings are made from processed collagen, usually from cow or pig skin, which are later removed after cooking. Before we continue, if you have been enjoying the video so far, Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. The casings are then linked into long strands of hot dogs and moved to the smokehouse where they are fully cooked under controlled temperature and humidity conditions. They may also be hardwood smoked for added color and flavor. After cooking, the hot dogs are showered in cool water to stop the cooking process and prevent them from shrinking. If they were made with artificial casings, they are sent to an automatic peeler that strips away the cellulose skin. The individual links are then conveyed to the packaging equipment where they are vacuum sealed in plastic films to protect their freshness and flavor. And voila! You have your hot dogs ready to be shipped to retailers and consumers. The whole process can take only a few hours from start to finish. 
and it is carefully regulated and inspected by the U.S. Department of Agriculture for wholesomeness and safety. But does that mean you can eat them right out of the package? Well, technically, yes, because they are already cooked, but I wouldn't recommend it. Why? Because they might contain harmful bacteria like Listeria or Salmonella that can survive the cooking process and cause food poisoning if not reheated properly. So how should you reheat your hot dogs? Well, there are many ways to do it. You can boil them in water for a few minutes. You can microwave them for 30 seconds. You can grill them over medium heat for 10 minutes. You can bake them in the oven for 15 minutes, or you can fry them in a skillet for five minutes. Whatever method you choose, make sure you cook them until they reach an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit or higher to kill any bacteria. Now let's talk about the health effects of hot dogs. You may have heard that the World Health Organization recently classified processed meat as a group one carcinogen, meaning that there is convincing evidence that it causes cancer in humans. This puts it in the same category as tobacco, asbestos, and plutonium. According to the World Health Organization, processed foods are those that have been transformed through salting, curing, fermenting, smoking, or adding chemical preservatives. Examples include not only hot dogs, but also bacon, ham, sausages, canned meat, jerky, and corned beef. The main reason why processed foods are carcinogenic is that they contain high amounts of nitrites and nitrates, which are added to preserve the color and flavor of the meat. These compounds can react with other substances in the body to form nitrosamines, which are known to damage DNA and cause mutations that can lead to cancer. Another reason is that cooking processed meats at high temperatures can create polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons and heterocyclic amines, which are also carcinogenic. These chemicals are formed when fat and juices from the meat drip onto a hot surface and create smoke and char. These compounds can also be found in grilled, roasted, or fried meats. So how much processed meat is safe to eat? Well, the World Health Organization does not recommend a specific amount, but it does say that the risk of cancer increases with the amount of meat consumed. According to a meta-analysis of 10 studies, every 50 grams of processed meat per day increases the risk of colorectal cancer by 18%. That's equivalent to about two slices of bacon or one hot dog. But still, this does not mean that you have to give up processed meats completely if you love them. They can still be enjoyed occasionally as part of a balanced diet. However, you should try to limit your intake as much as possible and choose healthier alternatives, such as fresh or lean meats, fish, eggs, beans, or tofu. And there you have it, how hot dogs are made from scratch and why they are harmful. Remember, everything is good in balance. And don't forget to add some veggies, fruits, grains, and other healthy foods to your diet. They will help you stay fit and happy. Now we want to hear from you. Do you eat hot dogs regularly? What do you think of this manufacturing process? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching.